What is up guys, Stevie was scotching things. Hey, just got back to civilization yesterday <laughs> afternoon. So sorry for the lack of videos where we've been working. I get like zero um, internet and I've, I'll get a notification here and there that I've got like a, a message on YouTube or Instagram that I haven't replied to and I just, it just won't load. Um, so, take some time today and go through some stuff. I'm gonna try and make a bunch of videos and get them pre-uploaded. We're only gonna, we have to go back to this this site and we'll only be there four or five more days and hopefully I'll be somewhere with better internet. Um, some quick updates. You'll be seeing this video. I, I opened it yesterday. I made a quick video because it's just, it's a holster, but I got a QVO holster for my Staccato 2011. Uh, I'm gonna try and get to the range tomorrow. Uh, you know, it's just when you're gone on the road and then you, you're only home for a couple of days, you know, a lot of family stuff to do. So uh, one kid's got a cross country meet today, which we'll see how that goes because she broke her finger and she's in a cast because it was on her growth plate. So she's running in a cast. Um, another daughter's got volleyball Sunday morning and Saturday we're meeting with the draftsman because we might build a house. I know this is a horrible time to build a house. But uh, our house is fine now. It's big enough. Um, every kid could technically have a room, but one's really not a bedroom. So uh, when you got four kids and they all want their own bedroom, especially if the girls are in high school now. Um, so we found a house plan that we loved. We just need to make a little, some couple tweaks on it. Price is staggering for what I thought it would be to build in Nebraska. Um, way more than I wanted, but hey, just one of those dumb things right now. And when you're going to build at the top of the market and watch, we would it would crash. So I know this is the total wrong time to do it, but I get my wife's. You know, we want the girls to the older three to feel like it's home for when they come back from college and. The rest of their life we'll see if the house goes over a certain price point i'm we're not gonna i just can't see spending that on a house in small town nebraska um so yeah i was we will see we're gonna get it cost we're gonna do the preliminary work to see if it's even feasible um because i do not want to spend that much I know it's a, it's just the wrong time, but ramblings aside, what have we got carried on me? Carrying a rasp today, got my strike plate XL carrying, I'm going to mail some stuff to Dave right now, uh, one's a surprise Dave, and I'm going to send him out my um, Sabenza 31 Tanto and Magna Cut, um, it's, it's dirty. I, tried to clean all that tape off it just didn't want to come off so dave this thing is a user feel free to do whatever the hell you want <clears throat> magna cut's been so this is kind of an update on this knife because you've seen chris reeve updates before um it's been great the tip is dull now and there's a couple of chips in there because it's constantly coming in contact with metal um i did try to do some prying with it like i usually do with the crates and the blade started to go eh, so i backed off um, sorry, Dave. I know I was going to send you that in Kosi, but my buddy still has it, and I haven't um, had a chance to see him yet. Um, so I'm heading to the post office right now. going to mail those out to you. Um, I'm waiting. It's frustrating. Like, I got home, and um, I, I've got three knives. Well, I've got Dave's packages should arrive today. But I've got two other knives that were supposed to be here today and the shipping is all goofed up on them. So I don't know where the hell they are. One of them I'm really kind of angry with because if you're gonna buy, sell and trade online, be a good seller. Um, I got a smoking deal on it, but that's no justification for piss poor communication and not doing things when you say you're gonna do them. Uh, me and a buddy went in on a combo deal on a couple knives. A guy was selling a bunch of knives, so we went in on a combo deal. 
Um, got a great price on both of them. Once the guy sent the money, oh yeah, I'll send them out tomorrow. That was last, so today is Friday, September 9th. That was last, not, that was, uh, I'm, I can't even, my days are blurred because I'm, I was on the road. It's been seven days. I think he held onto the knives. He didn't ship them until the day after Labor Day. Um, and the communication was horrible. First, it was like, I'm gonna ship them right away. I think that was last two Wednesdays ago. That was two Wednesdays ago. And then it was, I hit him up, hey, did you get tracking? Oh man, sorry, sorry, you know, work. I understand work's busy, but I always try and communicate with people like, hey, uh, the knife's gonna go out on this day because I can't get it out on this day. First thing, Saturday. Saturday rolls around, nothing. Um, I hit him up Sunday. Hey, did you get tracking? Nothing, nothing, nothing. Then later in the day, he sends me tracking. Well, it was the shit that you can print from home. He had printed the, the shipping info from home. So he didn't send them out, and then Monday was the holiday. He didn't send them out until Tuesday, and now it's Friday. So he held on to them for like six days before he even shipped them. And then that's just, that's just piss poor communication. You've got my thousand dollars, cause I paid for both the, both the knives and my buddy paid me back. Um, ship the fucking knives or communicate. Hey, I'm really, I mean, the communication was piss poor. So there's that. Um, what else, what else guys? trying to think what else I've got so I yeah I've got Dave sent me a couple um excited to check out because one of them is the 187 RMP that he owned and then I owned and it's his again and he made a scale for it and I think he sent me the Freeman um like I said I'm sending him the Chris Reeve the large um 31 and a surprise <laughs> I just want to see what he thinks of it um and then yeah, and then I'm waiting on those two knives, which I thought they were going to be here today, and they're not. Um, I'm hoping it's here by, I hope it comes tomorrow, Saturday, because I'm leaving Monday for work again, and I wanted to kind of take one. Uh, the reason I bought it was I wanted to use it as a work knife. Um, shoot, there was something else I was going to, I'm going to try and do some shooting tomorrow. If I do that, I'm going to try and get that um, hollow sun on that 2011 dialed in. I've been practicing. Uh, I said this in the holster video, practicing without the holster, the manual of arms, and then practiced a bunch with it yesterday. I want to go get that thing dialed in so I can um, start carrying that once I'm comfortable with it. Um, I've, I've got the draw stroke down and the muscle memory is pretty good, so um, getting that safety off and bringing it up, I just got to get that, that dot dialed in. Uh, and then I'll give you some updates on those. I'll try and get, like I said, busy day tomorrow. I'll, I'm going to try and sneak some shooting in. Um, I, I, what's the most you guys will pay for a production knife? Um, the, so I've had the J Cape and the J Cape Mini. I think they're great looking knives. I just don't like them once I get them in hand. I think they look phenomenal. I'm only saying this because they dropped the version four or the version three. I don't even know. J Capes dropped yesterday and my buddy sent me something cause he's in the groups too. A guy in the J Cape group, the way he specced his out and all the, and then he ordered a bunch of other shit for it, $2,400 he'll have into a production knife made by Riot in China. On a production knife, guys. Like, I know there's some rare production knives and, like, people consider, like, Strider's production and some other, but some of those are more hand, um, I, I've never seen a production, I just, a foreign made production knife that you've got $2,400 into. That's just, that's crazy. That seems really crazy to me. I wanna know what your guys' thoughts are. That just seems insane. So, yeah. Um, oh, I've got another knife coming from my brother. Um, he traded, he, he just got it in I was like, eh. Hey man, uh, he still owed me some money for the, the Koenig um, Arius. He's like, hey, do you want this instead? I'm like, oh, sure, I'll try it out, why not? So I think that'll be cool. 
um, outside of my wheelhouse, really. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. But I'm gonna drop the guys' paychecks off, and then I've got to do some some errands, and before my wife gets home, then we gotta go mow a bunch of rental properties and shit like that. So busy day. Uh, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.